DM Janae if you did not know and today we will be doing some simple makeup and it is very beginner friendly so stay tuned and watch how this turns out first I'm going to moisturize my face with a mattifying primer and I'm putting it in my t-zone areas that's where I get oily at I'm doing my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade Using this angled brush, I'm going to start in the middle of my eyebrow, then work my way to the end, and then I'll come back to the front to finish filling it out. I'm going to use this spoolie to brush my eyebrow and move the product around. After that, I'm going to take this concealer. It has an applicator on it, and so I'm just going to directly apply it to my eyebrow. When you lift your eyebrow up like you're making a surprise face, that helps you be able to be more precise with your eyebrow. Likewise, you're going to make kind of like an angry face to do the top, but not too angry to make yourself have like a really angry bird eyebrow. You don't want that. Now to blend this out, I'm using my finger right now because sometimes your finger is the best makeup tool you can have. If you're not comfortable using your finger, you can always use a brush. One or the other might be harder for you, so just try the other one. I'm moving on to my face now using my dirty makeup sponge, but I don't even care. So I put my foundation on the sponge and it is damp by the way and you're just gonna work that into your skin putting it everywhere covering up your highlight and all of that now I'm going under my eyes with a lighter foundation to bring back color to my face because my foundation is actually a little darker than I really am so I'm just covering it up this is the palette I'm going to use for my eyeshadow since this is beginner friendly we are only going to use this one eyeshadow I picked this gold color because I felt like it would look good with my skin color. And we're just going to put this all over our lid. We ain't doing that extra stuff. This is what it should look like. Don't take your eyeshadow too far up and make sure it's up high enough to be seen now i'm taking that dark color and putting it under my eye because i don't have an eyeliner pencil and this is just how i do it of course if you have an eyeliner pencil use it but right now i'm just putting this eyeshadow right here because i ain't got one now we're going to go in with some mascara to bring out our eyelashes Right here, I'm about to hit these bottom eyelashes. I know you probably feel like you don't have any, but honey, you do. The trick is you have to use your angles. You have to turn your head sideways sometimes to see them. And you also have to put extra coats of mascara on them for them to really pop. See how I turn my head to the side and you can see them? Y'all see them. Don't act like that. But that's all you have to do. Let that one side dry and then put some more mascara on it. Then BAM! Alright. I put some lip gloss on. And you can stop right here. Like you can finish your beginner friendly makeup look right there. Period boo. But I'm not. So I'm contouring my face a little bit with some powder. Not a whole lot. Just a little. Put a little highlight on my brow bone. On my cheek. So as I'm doing that, I'm also going to put some highlighter on the bridge of my nose. After that, you already know we're going in with some lashes. These are from Honey and Lime Boutique in the style Passion Fruit. And this is our final look. I didn't record an ending video, so just forgive me. 
but don't forget to like comment and subscribe